I just thought I should just record this quick video about how to make like an AI therapist, right? Like, let's just say you're the type of person that writes a lot of things down in your Google Docs or somewhere on your computer or whatever, right? And you just want to like feed all this information to AI so it can give you feedback on like maybe what you can improve on. Maybe you can break some patterns that you have that you want to like unlock new levels inside of you, but you don't know, you know, where you're going wrong because maybe you don't study yourself enough, right? So it'd be cool if you had like this AI therapist and this is the way I figured out how to create it so I'm pretty stoked about this video thanks shout out to Emily you are amazing for asking me this question but here's how all right so the first thing you want to do is you want to come over to unriddle.ai so this tool is pretty cool because it allows you to basically just like dump a whole bunch of pdfs or a whole bunch of text inside of here and then it'll like study the text right so that's exactly what we're trying to do so this is my first time actually using this tool so i'm going to walk you through how i'm actually using it for the first time too so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go over to my google docs and this is actually a book that i'm writing but it's tons of text and i'm going to go ahead and export this book out and then drop it inside and see like how good it can do all right so let me see if it can read a doc no got you got you it got mad it got mad because i tried to drop a doc in there so let me turn this into a pdf okay here we go all right so i'm gonna go ahead and try to grab my book let's see where it is pdf pdf there we go let's drop this thing inside of here it's a lot of words inside of this document so it took about i don't know 30 seconds to upload this is looking like Wow, so this is so cool because I'm already able to chat with it. Explain to me, you know, I can ask questions about it. So I can go ahead and type my question or a suggested question. So let's just say, explain this to me like I'm five. So you can explain your problems to yourself. That's what you want to do. Like you're five if you want to drop these down. I don't want to say problems, but your life. Okay, cool. So it's giving me feedback on this writing. I'm going to stop it right there so you guys don't know too much about my book. Oops, Curry. Oops. So I just asked AI what problem keeps occurring like, throughout the book, and let's see what it says. Wow, this is very impressive. Yeah, so you can ask it a question like, how can you fix this problem? Because it'll go ahead and give it advice from the document. And it's just like, almost like a third party type of advice, like how he can fix the problems what's going on in the book, which is crazy. This is literally a therapist right here. You can ask it questions like, what mental health issues you Wow, so it's telling me that he appears to have anxiety. <laughs> yeah, it's giving me references that I can go ahead and look at throughout the book that tells me or supports why it gives me this feedback. This is literally insane because you can drop a document about anything in here, like about your life, and then it'll literally analyze the shit out of it. So you can know what's wrong and you can see how to fix it. All right, so the second option is something I use a lot on my phone. It's called Pi, P-I, so I'm gonna put it up on the screen but why is this so cool is because you can actually have a conversation with ai so all i do is hit the little talk button hey so i have a lot of anxiety right now is there anything you can suggest for me to calm down my anxiety take a second with anxiety that can be really tough to deal with but only things that can help i can make some suggestions based on what works for others are you comfortable with meditation or breathing exercises or would you rather focus on something more concrete I probably would rather focus on something more concrete because I tried meditation before and it really didn't help me so much. Maybe because I was doing it wrong or I have a hard time just sitting in one place. But I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, meditation isn't for everyone and that's okay. Maybe something like a quick walk or some simple exercise could help. Getting your body moving and your blood flowing can often help reduce anxiety. Or maybe taking some time to focus on something specific like drawing or coloring. Something that can really get your attention off of your worries and onto something else, like an art project or a puzzle. How does that sound? Dude, that honestly sounds amazing. Thank you. But it's really cool. And then it has some presets set in here. Like you can ask it, you know, how I'm trying to feel calm or I want to master, master a work task. I want to just vent. I want to brainstorm ideas. So you can come here and just vent and tell it what's going on. And it is customized to you. And the crazy part about this all is like it records everything. So it starts to study you over time and it can see like it knows my name. It knows everything. So right now I can click here. Hi. So my name is Akil. I just wanted to tell you that so you can refer to me by Akil from now on. Akil, it's great to meet you. I'll be sure to refer to you as Akil from now on. And I appreciate you sharing your name with me. 
so it's pretty dope but yeah it's pretty dope because this thing can literally just store all of your information and every time you log on it'll just know everything about you so this thing can study you and you can literally talk to it like a human this right here is next level so it's honestly talking to me and i had the app closed so that was pretty freaky but yeah that's a summary of the app right there called pi and i recommend everybody use it and hey, there's more apps on this but these are the two that i recommend that you're able to like use right now and really fast and they can genuinely help you with your mental health so if you like this video like and subscribe and please leave comments on videos that you want me to like maybe make that can actually help people because i feel like ai is this tool that we can use to actually make the world a better place i know a lot of people are scared about like the ai is going to take over the world and all that but i genuinely think that it can make the world a better place